It's an unsettling thought, but the truth is that there are people out there who seem to take pleasure in causing others harm. Welcome to today's video, guys, where we'll be talking about a topic that's both fascinating and terrifying. Signs you're dealing with an evil person. Perhaps you've encountered people like this in your life, or maybe you're worried that someone close to you is displaying some troubling behaviors. Either way, this is a topic that's totally worth exploring. Before we get started, I want to let you know that we have a special bonus section coming up later in the video. I'll be letting you in on an effective method for setting boundaries when dealing with an evil person, and this is something that you don't want to miss. So make sure you stick around until the end. Welcome to Maxi Trophy, where we talk about stoicism, love and relationship, dating advice for men and women, self-development, and so more related to these topics. So without further ado, let's dive in. When we talk about evil people, we're not talking about your run-of-the-mill jerks or difficult personalities. We're talking about people who seem to go out of their way to hurt others, who lack empathy, and manipulate those around them. So, what are some signs that you might be dealing with an evil person? Well, they might seem charming and charismatic at first. They may even seem to care about you, or be interested in your life. But as time goes on, you might start to notice that they're only interested in you for what you can do for them or they might start to belittle you or criticize you. Let's say you meet someone at an event who seems to be the life of the party. They're making everyone laugh, telling great stories, and seem genuinely interested in you. You might think that you've just made a new friend, but be careful. As you get to know this person more, you might start to notice that they always have to be the center of attention. They might talk over you, interrupt you, or even put you down in front of others. They might also be quick to anger or become aggressive if they don't get their way. This is a classic example of someone who might seem charming and charismatic at first, but is actually quite toxic. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're dealing with someone who seems too good to be true, be cautious. Take the time to really get to know them and trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Remember, not everyone who seems charming and charismatic is actually a good person. Another red flag to watch out for is a lack of empathy. So empathy simply means being able to understand and share the feelings of others. It's an important trait that helps us connect with others and form meaningful relationships. When someone lacks empathy, it means they don't care about how their actions or words affect others. Evil people often have a hard time putting themselves in other people's shoes and understanding how their actions might affect those around them. They might do things that seem cruel or hurtful without any remorse or guilt. This lack of empathy can become even more troubling when it extends beyond personal relationships. For example, let's say you have a boss who doesn't care about the well-being of their employees. They might push you to work long hours without overtime pay, ignore your requests for time off, or criticize you unfairly in front of others. This kind of behavior can create a toxic work environment that affects everyone involved. If you notice that someone doesn't seem to care about your feelings or the feelings of others, it's worth considering whether or not you want them in your life. And then there's manipulation. Evil people are often very good at getting what they want, whether that means lying, gaslighting, or even forms of manipulation. Have you ever had a friend who always seems to get their way no matter what? Maybe they always know just what to say to get you to do what they want. And they may make you feel guilty when you don't go along with their plans. That's a classic example of manipulation. Now, not all manipulation is necessarily evil. Sometimes people use these tactics without even realizing it. They do it with good intentions. For example, a parent might manipulate their child into eating their vegetables by promising them dessert afterward. That's not necessarily evil, right? But when someone uses manipulation to hurt or control others, that's when it becomes a real problem. The thing is, Manipulation can be a powerful tool, and it's not always easy to recognize when it's happening to you. So if you're not sure whether someone is trying to manipulate you, it might be a good idea to talk to a trusted friend for advice. Before we move on to the next side, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe for more valuable content that you will definitely need in your life. It really helps our channel, and your kindness will go a long way. Next. An evil person is extremely controlling. Now we all have people in our lives who like things done a certain way. Maybe you have a friend who insists on always picking the restaurant, or a family member who wants to control how the holidays are celebrated, and that's okay. Everyone has their quirks. 
But when someone is extremely controlling, it goes beyond just having preferences. They want to control every aspect of your life and they'll stop at nothing to make sure things are done their way. So what does extremely controlling behavior look like? Well, it can take many forms. Maybe they're constantly checking up on you, wanting to know where you are and what you're doing at all times. Or they might try to isolate you from your friends and family so that they're the only ones you can turn to. They might also try to micromanage everything you do, from the way you dress to the way you talk. And if you try to push back, they might resort to threats, intimidation, or even violence. If this describes your situation, you might need to set boundaries or even cut ties with them if they're not willing to change their behavior. Finally, most evil people are pathological liars. They lie about everything, even when there's no reason to. Think about it. If someone is lying all the time, it's because they have something to hide or they want to manipulate you. They may lie to get what they want, to avoid getting in trouble, or just for the sake of lying. And unfortunately, evil people are masters at lying. They are skilled at manipulating their words to make themselves look good, even if they're actually doing something terrible. Evil people may try to convince you that they are trustworthy, but their actions will always speak louder than their words. If you catch someone in a lie, it's best to keep your guard up and try to distance yourself from them. As you can see, evil people exist, and you might be able to recognize these signs, whether it's a colleague at work, a friend, or even a family member. Encountering an evil person can be a truly harrowing experience. And so for the bonus you've been waiting for, here is one proven strategy for setting boundaries when dealing with an evil person. The key is to maintain a firm and unwavering stance, being clear about what you will and will not tolerate. It's essential to communicate your boundaries clearly and consistently, using a calm and assertive tone. For example, let's say you have a coworker who always tries to take credit for your work. You might say something like, I appreciate your interest in my work, but I would prefer it if you didn't take credit for it. It's important for me to receive recognition for my own contributions. You must also stick to your boundaries, even if the evil person pushes back or tries to manipulate you. Evil people often try to find ways around boundaries, but if you remain firm and consistent, they will eventually learn that you won't tolerate their behavior. Setting boundaries when dealing with an evil person can be a tricky task, but it's an important step towards regaining control of your life and protecting yourself from any further harm. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you found this discussion helpful, be sure to check out our other content on dealing with difficult people. And as always, if you have any questions or additions, leave them in the comments below. I'm very happy to help my friends and community, and I am very proud to be your virtual friend. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.